Hello guys, I'm Ultras here, just coming at you with a quick video. This is going to be a bit of a different video today, I'm going to be reviewing the Osu No No keypad. So without saying any more, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first off, this keyboard looks nice, as you can see the, the colours are changing and everything on it, and uh, it's extremely small as well. You can see the two main buttons there, that's what you're going to be pressing, obviously, is Z and X in the game, but it comes with three other wee buttons as well, so I believe that one of these restarts the map, the other one is escape, and I cannot figure out what the other one's for, I, haven't, I don't really use those buttons, I don't think that they really should be there, I just use my keyboard anyway. Okay, so throughout this video you can just see the look of it, there's not really much to explain about the look of it, it's so small. Uh, it's micro USB cable, so obviously you can just plug it straight into your computer through micro USB. And uh, this, this actually comes with five different keys, it comes with Cherry MX Red. Uh, it comes with blue, it comes with black switches, brown switches, and I actually got these silver MX switches, so I'm not exactly sure about those. I've tried them out and they feel quite similar to the Cherry MX, they're supposed to be better. Uh, one thing I will say about this keyboard is it's very, very sensitive. Uh, at the start it took a long time to get used to because every time I laid my finger on a key it like automatically registered. So that's one thing, and I would say like the input is probably slightly like ahead of what you would usually be used to with a normal keyboard but as for the feeling of all the different keys uh, they all feel like the same as keyboards um in terms of the uh the blue switches and the red switches and all they feel exactly like the keyboard equivalents so as you can see guys here are the five sets of keys that you get of all the different colors for the keypad uh, you can see cherry blue silver black and brown there so um, these are very very easy to put in as you can see here you just slot them in and put the key over the top and you're set to go so now i know that some people like to hear the sound of the keys so i'm just going to put the microphone beside the uh the keypad and you can just hear for yourselves what the keypad sounds like so here it is So yeah guys, after all this being said, I probably would not recommend buying this. Uh, it's probably not worth the money. I would recommend saving up and actually getting a, a keyboard of your choice, whatever switches you prefer, and just get that, go to a store and try some out. But to have all the switches there, to just kind of interchange and try different ones, it's nice and it's a nice thing to have. I would recommend it in that way. There's nothing flawed about it, but I would recommend that you go out and buy a keyboard. So. Yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.